Hi, my name is Victor. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the basics of the sequencer and the arpeggiator of the matrix boot. The matrix boot contains a built-in step sequencer as well as an arpeggiator. The arpeggiator gives you access to a set of different parameters. Resolution speed, play mode, swing, gate time, as well as octaves. These parameters can, of course, be adjusted on the fly. So let's hear how it can give life to a simple chord. I can adjust the gate time. Maybe change the play mode. I can also change the resolution speed. The Matrix Brute also contains a powerful sequencer. Up to 256 sequences can be saved and loaded from the Matrix. These sequences can be either linked or dissociated from the preset you load. But first, let's take a look on how the sequencer works. To activate the sequencer, press the Sequencer button. Once the sequencer is active, you can display the sequence on the Matrix by hitting the Sec button. The sequencer can have up to 64 steps. They are divided into 4 rows of 16 steps each. But you may want to record a shorter sequence. To do this, hold the sec length button and press on the step you want your sequence to end. On each step, 5 types of information are stored. Whether the step is active or not, the accent, which is sending a high velocity value if it's active, the slide, which is enabling the glide only for the step you have selected, and then the mod track. We'll cover this later in the video. So now, we will step record our sequence. To do this, press the record button. From now on, all the notes I'm playing will be added to my sequence. If for example I don't want the next note to play, I can press the next arrow button and it will add a rest to my sequence. And then I can continue writing the sequence. Once a sequence is recorded, you can always modify it afterwards. So once the sequence is running, you can always add some accents manually or tie some steps. One of the most interesting features of the Matrix Brood Sequencer is its modulation track. You can use it to create accurate and rhythmic automations. Right, so let's say I have this basic sequence. But I want to add some movement to it. I will write a modulation track to control the cutoff of the filter. To do this, I switch on the record mode. You will see that the first step is selected. I enter the amount of the modulation that I want on these steps and I repeat this for the other steps. Let's also put a few accents. Now I've created my modulation track and added a few accents, but we need to connect them to something. Let's switch on the mode matrix. I'll connect my sequential modulation track to the cutoff of my filter. Here is the ladder. I will just set a positive amount of modulation so that the modulation track opens the filter. And for the accent track, I will just connect the velocity to my VCO3 level and add a positive amount. And if I want to go even further, I can tie some steps and add some slide on the steps. For the next part, we'll switch on to duo split mode. In duo split mode, the melodic sequence is applied to the left part of the keyboard. While you can still play the right part of the keyboard independently. This allows to go further than any other monophonic synthesizer. Last but not least, 
we implemented a special feature making the most of both the arpeggiator and the sequencer. We call it the Matrix Arpeggiator. It can animate chords with up to four notes in a quite special way. To activate it, press the sequencer and the arpeggiator button at the same time. Here, the matrix is divided in two parts. The four rows at the top work the same way as the sequencer does, except you have 16 steps at your disposal. In the lower part, each group of four rows represents one octave, and the rows in each group represent the notes of the chord you are playing. You can thus allocate the 16 steps to the notes of your chords on three different octaves. And this is what you can get from it. The Matrix Brute Arpeggiator and Sequencer has been the subject of thoughtful care. They will help you inspire your music performance and open new sound possibilities. Next time, we will focus our attention on the profuse connectivity and ability to use external devices with the Matrix Brute. See you next time!